Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. So in this video we will learn how we can create the bottom app bar inside our application. We will add few menu items on the app bar and also we will learn how we can set click listener on the items of the app bar. So let's get started. Here we have empty project. We have to design our app bar inside XML code. So we will open the XML code and here we will open the text. So we will remove the text view and instead of constraint layout, we will use the coordinate layout. So I will select the constraint layout and here we will add the coordinate layout. So I select here coordinate layout. Now we will add the bottom app bar. So here I will add the bottom app bar. So make sure you have to select this one. And here I will change the width into match parent and height into wrap content. And here I will add the background color. So here I will choose the background color. I'm going to select the purple 700 that is default color and background tint. So here I will choose the background tint same as purple 700. Okay. So now we will add few stuff on this app bar. So for this we need to add the menu. So I will open the resource and here we need to create the menu. So for this we need to right click on the resource and new and select the Android source file. So we have to give the name. So I will simply give here menu. Okay, now here we need to select the menu. So I will choose the menu and click on okay. Okay, here we need to add few items. So for item, we need to create the vector racer. So how we can create the vector racer? Just right click on the rival new and select the vector racer. Okay, now here we have to click and choose the item. So let's say I select here camera. And here I will select this camera and press OK. Now we need to change the color. So here I will choose the white color and click on next and finish. Okay, now again I will create the new vector asset again new and select the vector asset and this time I will select the home. Again we have to change the color so next and finish. Now again new and select the vector asset and then we will choose any other vector asset suppose I select the settings. Select this one next and finish. Okay, now we will add few items inside the menu. So here I will add the item. So item and first we will give the ID. So suppose I give the ID into setting and give the title and give the icon and the icon we will add here settings that we have created vector is it and now we will add the show as action class and if rooms. Okay, now we'll close it and press alt control l to realign the code and we will copy this item and paste at the bottom okay now this time we will change it into camera and again we will change the vector asset okay now we need to change the title okay now we have two items inside our menu so we will open the xml code and here we will add the menu so here i will choose the menu and we will select the bottom menu that we have created now okay so we will close it and give the id here so here i will choose bottom a bar okay like this okay now we need to shift it into bottom so here i will choose the gravity so here i will choose layout gravity into bottom okay now it shifted into the bottom now we need to add the floating action button so here i will create the floating action button Okay, now we need to select the wrap content and again wrap content. Okay, now we will select the source here. I will choose the source and here we will choose the home that we have created the vector asset. Okay, now we have to. Okay, now we will change the background tint. So here we will choose the background tint into white. Like this, you can choose any other color. For example, I want to change the color into purple. So here Android and here I will select the purple color. You can also give here code by using the hash FFF, etc. Okay, so now we have to align it into center. So here I will add anchor. 
so here we have to select this property app layout anchor so we need to give the id of this app bar so here i will choose bottom sorry it's not uh, bottom app bar okay first i will select here id bottom app bar okay now here you can see it looks like this and we will close it first okay now if you want to add the navigation home button so here we have to click and we have to add navigation icon here we can select the icon so first we have to generate the icon so here i will click new and select the vector asset again and we need to select the menu so suppose i select here menu we have to select this one you can choose any other one okay so here we will choose the menu so i will simply select the drivable ic menu okay now here you can see we have added the menu okay so now first run the application and let's see how it will look okay our application is successfully running so here you can see we have home button and we have menu icons okay so now if you want to shift this home button to the right you have to simply here we have to add fab alignment mode so you have to select here and now here you will see you can see here it's shifted to the right okay so if you want to uh, change the radius of this curve you can add here fab and here you can see we have fab cradle rounded corner radius you can add radius as much as you want suppose i give the 10 dp you can see here it's changed and let's say i change it into 30 okay now you can see it's changed so let's run it again and let's see how it will look okay application is successfully running so here you can see it's look like this and if you want to add more properties you can add here suppose i want to give here fab cradle margin if you want to add more margin you can simply give here 20 and you can see here it's increased the margin between the app bar and the home button you can add like this okay okay now if you want to set click listener on the items on this app bar so we have to initialize this app bar inside main activity dot java so here we will initialize sorry for that and here we have to create the bottom app bar and we will simply call it bottom app bar and inside on create method we will initialize this bottom bar We will set click listener on the bottom app bar or set item on menu item click listener new on menu item click listener okay so here we need to check the id of every item so here we will create the condition if item dot get item id and we will compare that id r dot id dot suppose i want to select the camera and here we have two ids we have camera and settings so i will select here camera if we click on the camera what we will happen so here i'm going to create the toast message so this is our main activity we have to pass here context and we have to show toast message suppose i created here camera and here we will create the another condition and here we will change it into settings okay now this time i will change this into settings okay now let's run the application and let's see how it's working okay application successfully running so let's say i click on the setting and here you can see we have toast message you can perform any other task so let's say i click on the camera and here you can see so you can also set click listener on the fab icon you have to initialize the fab icon inside our main activity okay so our code is completed in this way you can create the bottom app bar and you can design beautiful structure inside our app bar so if you have any question any problem you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care